kala la leon la yahweh bahasham shah yahweh shai bahalu kakodash which is ancient pure hebrew for all praises to yahweh the heavenly father's only name which can only be uttered in hebrew the word can be called shah jehovah in the name of yahweh shai it's like him the name of yahweh shai whose name can only be uttered in hebrew also the word can be called jesus yesh etc all right in the holy spirit which is a wisdom of the of these holy scriptures all right know to worry how bash him and to put his spirit in me to do another lesson prayerless lesson is that funny that hundred forty four thousand men one third men and my children double honest with pastors and those of great and stone salutations in your akim as portion through this holy scriptures all right um it's lucky man all right, so from the spirit down we to, to do this lesson to break down St. John chapter 1 verse 11 to 13 and it reads and he, and he came unto his own and his own received him not and a lot of people believe that when the scripture was read that when Yahweh when Yahweh Shai was sent you know that his own people would not receive him and people believe that people believe that um that that was the reason why the most like either cast off his people or brought brought the e the heathens into the covenant you know or both you know that's what I'm here to break down and verse 12 says but as many as receive him which sounds like an open statement that anybody could receive him to them give he power to become the sons of the most high yes and now they're they're no longer heathens the sons of the most high that's what they believe we're gonna go through the scriptures and show that's not so even to them that believe on his name I think that everybody got his name Everybody got Yahweh Shai's name. Everybody who is they even know what Yahweh Shai was. Israel tell them about the Messiah coming and we're going to save them. Verse 13. Which were, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the Mosai. Right? So, these that receive Yahweh Shai were born, not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the Most High. Right? So that sounds like you know, the heathens are sons of the Most High, not because they're not of the bloodline of Israel, of the flesh, and whatnot. But we're going to break it down. This is very important, right? It says, uh, let's go to the prophecy. To the prophecy of the Hawashai being um, rejected by his own people, as in Psalms 22. Uh, Psalms 4. It says, Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted in thee, thou didst deliver them. And this is the Psalm of David, Psalm of David, prophesying with Jehovah Shai, because this is the Psalm of David, or any other Israel but Jehovah Shai. They cried unto me and were delivered, they trusted in thee and were not confounded. Right? Trusted in Jehovah and they were not confounded. As Jehovah Shai trusted in Jehovah and he was not confounded. But I am a I am a worm, no man alone, and no man reproach of men and despise of the people. Alright, because this is what the scripture says. Why he was despised. Uh, 
um, six, six, sixteen. There it goes. And what agreement have the temple of the most high with idols? Uh, lock here. Yeah. Verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath the righteousness with unrighteousness? Of what communion hath light with darkness? Alright. What communion hath light with darkness? Oh. So, so about the Psalms 22 or 3, I wish I said, If I had not come, they had not sinned. Yeah, man, fuck that skip that. Yeah. Yeah, this is John chapter 15, verse 22. It says, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not seen. But now they have no clue for their sin, right? And uh, and half the time, most of the time, most of the time, they hated the things that Yahweh Shai said. It says that he that hated me hated my father also, all right? So it was prophesied that Yahweh Shai would be, would be, would not be received of his own people. Yeah, but you know, people say, yeah, we know that, but the point is that, um, they're wicked. That's why, that's why he had to die for their sin, because the wrong people did not receive him. The heathens only the last house but the most high or his son, right? It says, um, it says, all they that see me laugh with the scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, I trusted on Yahweh that he that he would deliver him, let him deliver him, see that he delighted in him. Alright. Here it is. Let me just jump down a little. It says it says it says verse 13, it says they gave the pony. With their mouths and as a raving and roaring and as a raving all night, and pour out like rock, and all my bones are out of my joint, my heart is like wax, it is melting. <coughs> Fuck you. The midst of my bubbles, my strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my heart is clear to my tongues. Fuck you. You ready? Verse 6, no jump to verse 6, it says, For dogs have come past me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierce my hands and my feet. Right? That's the point of that one. I'm gonna get this other one in Isaiah 53. Um, 3. Sorry for one. It says, Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Hamon revealed? Exactly, to whom is the arm of the Hamon revealed? To his elect. And the scripture says, truth shall return to those that practice it. Alright? Um, let's see. Another precept. Yeah. Let me get this one here. Yeah, we're going into the second verse, verse 11. Okay. Karen, this is Isaiah 4, 2, verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. All that stuff came up. The Israelites. The Israelites have lost their way. Right? 
is made to be read about in Jen Galatians chapter is in Galatians chapter six or three. Galatians chapter 3, okay. Galatians chapter 3 explains it all, alright, but I'm looking for the specific, specific precept. Uh, it says, for Jacob is my servant, see, Israel, my elect, have I called to be my name, that shall name be the ones that know me, right? And then for the seal of Jacob, and my elect shall inherit it. See that? I will bring forth the seal to Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of the mountains, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there. Alright? Just read that Israel is the most a servant, not, not the heathens. They shall not build on another hand. This is Isaiah 6 11, 22. They shall, they shall not build another habit. They shall not build another habit. They shall not plant another eat for the days of the trees. For the days of the tree are the days of my people, my elect, shall not enjoy the work of their hands. Alright? Um, let's move to Luke. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the Mosai avenge his own elect, who shall fight day and night? Unto him, do I bear long with them? Why? Because his elect is the, the men, women, and children found in Revelation. Right? And those are Israelites. Uh, seven. One. Alright? See? Revelation chapter 7 verse 4 And heard a number of them which were sealed And they were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand All of the tribes of the children of Israel There's no such thing as a spiritual Israelite And this here Let's see here Where is it? There's a part there Multitude. If you read verse three, it shows it shows our say heard not the earth, neither the sea nor the tree, so we have seen the servants of Yahweh in their foreheads. Alright, and the elect would have their children with them. Alright, their children and their wives with them. So let's get one to John. Mm. Yeah, let's get one to Isaiah 53. It's locked, yeah. And uh, so from Fubu to Fubu. Yeah. Verse 3 it says, Yeah, verse 2. For he shall go up before him as a tender plant and as a root up to the dry ground. And he hath no form of comeliness in him. And when ye shall see him, there is no beauty that thou shouldest desire him. 
is despised and rejected of men, a man of many sorrows, acquainted with grief. And we hid it, we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Alright. Surely shows that Yahweh Shai was um was not to be received. Alright? So let's get into it. But as many as received him, to them he gave. Good. So to those who receive him. Although I was already halfway there. So let's get his precept in Matthew chapter 11. Let me show you. It's locked here. Should I do Deuteronomy 18? Yeah, let's do Deuteronomy 18. To close off on. Close off verse 11 or consolidate verse 11. That's because in the sense in Deuteronomy 18, it was prophesied that he would would be rejected. This is Deuteronomy 18 verse 15. Yahweh thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee of thy brethren like unto me and unto him shall shall ye hearken. Who was Moses talking about? The children of Israel. When you went down in the Old Testament you find that the heathen will listen to Yahweh. Yahweh Shai and that's all about Gentiles. There's two types of Gentiles. Right? There's Gentiles that, were, that, that didn't know their nationality completely lost away due to the wicked fathers and these gentiles pertain to the heathens right because the word gentiles is gentiles which means stranger or foreign right it says verse 60 according to all that thou desirest of Yahweh thy power in Horeb in the day in the day of assembly saying let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh thy power neither let me hear this great fire and you know See slack it see this great fire and know that that I die not because in, in Exodus twenty when you have actually now shall spoil to spoil the children of Israel to through through a chariot and fire the tempest the tempest um the chariot you know the children of Israel was afraid of it so they were to die you know, as a paraphrase here and you always said and you always said unto me they have well spoken that which they have spoken because you have when you turn down his glory or power to anybody. Alright? But he said that the Moses even revealed to them that the most I did that so he would drive the fear into them that the player would help Bashim share to see how dreadful he is, right? Because I will my I will raise up I will raise up I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren that come to thee. I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I love, and I shall command him. It shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in, <laughs> speak in my name, I will require it of him. Alright? Clearly sure that he will not listen to Yahweh Shai. Alright? Um, Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25, and read. This is what Yahweh Shai said, alright? Just lock it. I want to make a point here, real quick. Time Yahweh should answer and said, I thank thee, O Yahweh. I thank thee, O Father, Yahweh. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto the babes. The wise and prudent is pertaining to the um 
described by the Pharisees because they were they were masters of the law. They knew the law, but they were they were they were deceivers and they were wise for evil, right? And as we give them up to babe too, Gentiles, as in foreigners, Israelite foreigners that were not first in the scriptures, right? Because you know that they would have faith, they would they would seek El Bashan and Shalom more than the describing Pharisees because they were I'm describing Pharisees were holier than one, they were holier than them. Alright, um go on the um, I get it. I want to prove it in the Old Testament. Is it Psalms? Yes, it's in Psalm chapter 8 and verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, wicked of Israel, that thou mightest still. The enemy and the avenger. Right? Yeah. So why this piece of um, let's go to chapter ten and fifty six. This is where Yahweh Shai told the disciples. Okay. Oh, John, fifty six. It's time fifty six or it's thirty six. Five and six. <laughs> yeah, this is where how we shall command us these disciples, right? This is John Matthew chapter five verse Matthew chapter ten verse five and six. It says, These twelve the how shall send forth and command them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, that's talking about the heathens, and into the city of Samaria, and to be not because the heathens were dwelling there, Slakia, Samaritans, right? The heathens were dwelling there. It was a part of of Israel, whereby um, the Babylonian king, or uh, Assyria, yeah, the Assyrian king had um, had instructed had, had what's the word? Yeah, say instructed heathens to dwell there. So Israelites weren't there, and even if they were, they would have been wicked. Right? It says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So back to John. So that should help understand. Help you understand John 1 and 12 even better. That, but as many as receive him, right? The lost sheep of Israel, that's who receive him. The Gentiles, the lost sheep. That's, that's what Gentiles mean when it was pertaining to Israelites. Or anything you see scriptures talking about Gentiles receiving this word or Gentiles being healed and whatnot, it's pertaining to lost Israelites, right? To them, he gave you power to become the sons of Yahweh, even to them that believe in his name, right? And that's who believe on him, all right? So let's get let's do, let's do a little bit more. Let's see what James says, all right. James, where are you, James? There you are. In James one and one, it says, James, a servant of Yahweh, and of other one Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the twelve tribes of Israel which were scattered abroad, greeting. They were scattered abroad as prophesied in Deuteronomy twenty-eight. All right. All right. So let's go down a little bit more. 
to Wales. Romans 10, verse 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high, to the power of Israel, is that he might have, that they might be saved. That's why Yahweh Shai even said, I pray for them and not for the world, to whom the elect, the elect. Let's get some more precepts in. In um, the New Testament pertaining to light. Right? Was that except those days, Matthew 24, verse 22? Except those days be shortened, there shall no flood be saved, but for the elect sake, those days might be shortened. Right? So when did the heathen come into this fold, man? It says, it's like, yeah. Matthew 24 24, for there shall arise false, false mashiachs, great false prophets, and shall show great signs, great signs and wonders, in so much if it were possible that they shall deceive the very elect, because we, we like would have been lost. What do you mean by deceive? We were lost. We were lost, right? But in the end, truth, truth returned to us as prophesied. So he practiced on it while we were on one of the on one of the one of the elect. So right? Matthew chapter 24 verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great song of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds of, of from the from the four winds from one end of, of the heaven to the other. Right as I'm talking about heaven and sky I'm talking about this kingdom. Right, the word heaven is also used as kingdom in the scriptures, right? Let's see that one. Yeah, we read that one. Um, um, we read that one. Yeah, this is Romans 8 and verse 33. What, who, who shall lay anything to charge of the most size of it? It is. It is power that justify it. You see how it will justify the light to going off, right? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, I'm gonna let's pray. Let's see. Yeah, so it's back in Romans. Yeah, the light might be saved. Let's jump down to 12. So, 12. so where it says, For there is no Difference between Jew and Greek for the same other one. Over all is rich, is rich unto all that call upon him. The Jew and Greek. Why do they mention Jew and Greek? Why do they mention Moabites, the Arabs, the Ishmaelites? Why do they mention Canaanites? What um, happened to the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Amorites? Huh? Why is there what? There's no difference between Jew and heathen. Hmm? But it was Israelites that were scattered. Right? It says, For whoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Alright, let's see here. So, yeah, because even Philip, Philip preached that Ethiopian, why did he say Ethiopian as well? Easy open the can, man. Come on, man. Lock wisdom on the sound. If you lock wisdom on the sound, pray and fast for it. Alright, uh, Romans 11 and 11 and 4 to 7. It says, But what, but what save us of the most sound to him that reserved it to himself 7,000 men? Who he had bowed, who had not bowed the knee to the image of the Baal. <laughs> Flock you see that? The most are reserved. <laughs> Flock you. That was the Elias, you know? A reference from the Old Testament. Even so, then at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the direction of grace. Now, let's go to it. Let's go to the remnant. 
Let's go to it. Zephaniah, 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 13 and verse 8. Show you. It says, And it came to pass that in all the land, say down with the two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part to the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. What? They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, This is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Stop me, Israel. Oh my gosh, right at the top of it. Verse 1 In that day there shall be a fountain opened to the house of David, to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for the sin and for uncleanness. Come on, man. It's right there, man. It's right there. You gotta read. You gotta keep reading and put this thing together. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Man. Come on, man. Back to Romans 11. It says, even so then, at this verse 9, even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if it, and if it by grace, then there is no more works. Right? Because that's what the Father's God requires is portion. So, grace was given so that the, the, the Greek Israelites, whereby the word Greek is, is, is the Greek word, where the Greek word is used in Greek, the Greek word Helen, which is which means by by nationality, by um, um oh, citizenship, right? Citizenship is what 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 make them Greek, right? Being born in the land and getting papers and documents is the same thing as today, right? Then there's no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it if it works. There, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. What then? It do, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which it seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See, two thirds of what he's talking about, man. Right? And goes on and on and so forth. Right? So let's go to Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. This is going to help you understand the songs of the Mosai. The Mosai doesn't give that title to any, any person. Scripture says that who the Mosai chastises, he will call, call it his son. In Hebrew, right? Where is Hosea? Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 10 Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the, as the sand of the sea And I was bring them Right? Bring this out Which shall be measured by number And it shall come to pass Shall I measure the number Which race of peoples make the most children? Which race of peoples make the most children? Of course so called black people Of course so called Amerindians Of course Latinos, right? And the confusion of faces that would make Make children in abundance, right? Which cannot be measured or numbered. They think they got a popular, popul popular sort of whatever, whatever, whatever nonsense. Think of a count as well. They think they got a number, but they don't, right? And it shall come to pass that in in the place where it is said unto them, "Ye are not my people." They which shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Alright? That's who's waking up today. They said that we are Negroes, they said that we are niggas, they said that we are Buck and Indians and Red Man, Red Woman, and Black Bay, and, and, and uh, all these other proverbs and by words according to the 2020 year. And now it's being said that we are the sons of the living power. And salvation is for us because, like a paraphrase in Hebrew, who the most I love it, he chastises it. Right? Right? And let me get this in, in Daniel. Let me show you how serious this thing is. This is in the truth. Daniel 9 25. It's 
Daniel 9 verse 12 and he hath confirmed and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges and against and judges and judges scribe of Pharisees by bring this great evil from under the whole heaven Slakia by bringing us a great evil from under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath done upon Jerusalem have been done upon Jerusalem. So when no other nation has suffered as much as Israel has suffered, which makes us the children of Israel, no other, no other people going through that much slavery, from the transatlantic slave trade, from the Sahara slave trade, and from all the slave trades before. Do your research. Same again. Right? Let's see. Same idea, man. Yeah, it might be a lengthy video, but it sure is going to be worth it. Alright, so we're good there. So let's go to verse 13. Just read it. It says, um, it says, I read about 12, it says, But as many receive him to them, give him power to become the sons of God, as I even to them who believe in his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will, nor of, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the most high, the born of the most high, not of blood, of the flesh, nor of the will of man. Right? As in the election. The human will is untrue, the human will is undeceived. Alright? So let's get it. Let's get it in one. John 6, quick. 6, seven, six to 4. I'm not gonna read that, but six and five, so yeah, I'll read both. It says, John six and five, for no man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me, hath sent me to draw him. And it's not except the Father which hath sent me to draw him. Now the reason in the last days, right? Now who did the recite disciples who were the disciples disciples? Not to the name of Gentiles, but to the lost sheep of Israel. Alright? Not to the way of Gentiles. But to the lost sheep of Israel. This is um John chapter six verse six and six to six from that time. Uh, la, 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 la. 6, 14. But, but there are some of you that believe not, for Yahweh I knew from the beginning who they were that that believe not, and who should betray him, as in an old rich Israelite would have not followed doctrine. I mean, oh, we got to bring this precept out. Psalms 50, this verse 16. Yeah. This is talking about this is talking about the heathens, right? This is talking about the heathens. It says, But unto the wicked, the most I say, What hath thou to declare my statutes? But that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth, right? What hath the heathen? What is, what is covenant? What is statute God do with the heathen? You know, in other words, they would they would make a vow unto the most high. 
accomplish nothing because you know, I never made a covenant with them. You know? Try to find this out of place here. So I want to see them. It makes the dead of the world I mean. Was he created him for the other one too soon? He didn't want to make a deal with him too. Type in this one. And he said, Seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. Alright, that's what the heathens do, they can't say the words. They, 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 they cast the words of Yahweh behind them. To sound thee the nine of verse two and four says, My covenant will I not break. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. So most I made a covenant with his people, and he will not break, he will not alter anything that is gone out of his lips. Alright? Um so let's wrap up on Hebrews chapter one. Says, which will end up blood. Now let's deal with the blood. Straight to the point. Hebrews 10, 1 and 10. And it reads, wow, it was 7 and 10. And it was 7 and 10. And 10 and verse 4 it says, For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats take away the sin. So that's what we mean by born, being born again, as in taking, taking sins away. So when it says, He didn't become the Son of God, or being, sorry, being the Son of the Most High. Not of not of blood is pertaining to you know sacrificial blood. It is pertains to flesh now. Let's get it to uh, yeah. Look. Yeah, it's probably from look. Train it. Look chapter three and verse eight. This is um this is what John the Baptist said to the um Scribe of Pharisees, he says, Bring bring forth thee, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham, our father, for I say to you that the most I is able with these stones to raise up children of the day, Abraham. Alright? So, there will be Israelites who believe that because they're we have the seed of Abraham, they go this way or already or whatever. And that's what the square of Pharisees would have thought. Once they once they receive the baby, how they go? And it's not of that. And they will once they're out of the flesh. Yeah, they feel that because they're of the flesh of baby, how they go? And I have an opportunity to be good. Father says to go. So 
and became the sons of the men. And the king of sons of the middle side, and not of the women, as pertaining to Romans chapter 9. And this is just straight to the point. And there's much more peace that you could be in. So you're not going to blow me off this topic with me. Romans chapter 9 and verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the most on that part? Let's start with verse 12. It says, I have said unto her that Hezekiah shall serve the young man. Prophecy has yet to happen. And always as something as it is written, Jesus will put a love to feed someone who hated Malachi chapter 1. And as I hate it, it is Esau and his descendants, which is the so called great race. And any none of them change to their own, and also has to execute judgment on them to what they did to their brethren. They will take perpetual hatred towards us, which is in Ezekiel chapter 35. Okay? It says, What shall we say then? Is the only righteous who can be said in the sight of God? For he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Then it is not of him that willeth. Nor of him that runneth, but of the most and the truth mercy. So the most high is the one who decides, right? And you can't will yourself into this thing, right? This thing has been set from the foundation of heaven. And if some people can get it, and some people really don't, and they don't. And that's okay, because, you know, we all kill the most high God, right? So this is Sabbath, chapter 3 and verse 10. And this is an important precept. Let me understand that. How the most side does things, right? There are 18 nations on the earth, and the most side chose for the most side elected one to be his people, to be his royal priesthood. The other nations, he didn't care less about them because when. Alright, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Just for the conclusion, uh, second of just chapter 2. I'll come back to that. So, uh, is two twenty six. It says, Oh, that's nine. Nine eighteen. Probably taking some things here to two weeks ago. Possible by a lesson. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 9. And now when I prepared the world which was not yet made, even for them that dwell in that now live, no man speak against me. Alright? No man challenged the Mosai. So who is challenging the Mosai? So called white right? race go down. Right? Scriptures call them the border of wickedness, as in they are the highest point of wickedness. We are Satan in, in the flesh. Right? But Satan is in obedience to Yahweh Bash and Yushai. Alright, but so that's another lesson. Verse 19 For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners, now the manners of them which were created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is in search of rid themselves. They rid themselves of Yahweh Shem and Shai of the word. Alright? So with that, I gotta get this preset just to help you answer something. If the heathens rid themselves of the word, what did Israel do? And what did the most high promise Israel? This is Isaiah 59 verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that what the Redeemer shall come to to Zion. That's a people, a people for a place, right? Unto them that turn from their transgressions, the, the one third of Israel and the elect, the hundred five four thousand men, unto them that turn from their transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith Yahweh, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed. Say Yahweh from henceforth and forever. And most of them make this covenant with the heathens. Alright? So therefore, I 
gotta go back to Bloomin' Chapter 9 now to, to confirm confirm that, right? This is um Romans chapter 9 verse 1 I say the truth in a mashiach I lie not my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual soul in my heart for I wish or I could wish that myself were cursed from the mashiach from 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 mashiach from my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh that pertain to the flesh right all right so when it says in john i read from the book here all right so when it says in john when it says in john which were born not of blood nor of the will nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of the will of the most high it is not by the will of the flesh because the flesh is weak it's by the spirit all right by the kinsmen according to the flesh who are israelite to whom pertain the adoption as in them bringing back coming back to the fold the branch being joined together the branch that was broken off and being joined together right and the glory as spoken about in ezekiel and the glory the adoption spoken about in ezekiel pertain to the branch right and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law the giving of the law the holy scriptures and the service of the most high and the promises see who it pertains to israelites who are the fathers whose are the fathers abraham isaac and jacob and of whom as concerning the flesh mashina came all right and of whom as concerning the flesh mashina came good who was over all the most i bless forever amen right and not as the word it's like and not as though the word of the most i have taken no effect for they are not all israel which are israel neither because they are the seed of abraham are they called all are they called are they all children but in isaac thy seed shall be called so not because they are they are of the flesh of Israel, you mean that they shall be saved during the second death, when the Lord has to make an example unto them. Right? It's just how the Lord does things. Alright? Because, um, yeah, the Lord might exterminate me to me. But, um, was prophesied right that this yeah that this they which are the children they, that they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of the most side but the children of the promise are counted for the seed the children of the promise the most high promise he like will be saved as a red as a Korean right um let's see because in Israel the most I did this I did this, and I'm praying that this is this. I'm so going to separate me for this. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 21. And Yahweh shall separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in, the, in this book of the law. <laughs> right, so let's go back to Sirach real quick. Yeah, just had a burst of um <laughs> a burst of precepts there, Thawadi Abashi no Shanko Spirit. It says Yeah, let's on this let's pull the note final on this time of this. It says uh, This is Surah 33 and verse 10. And all men are from, are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. In much knowledge, Yahweh hath divided them and made their ways diverse. So you see clearly, you see, the Moses is not about people coming together. The Moses want his people come together, 
want ye then to come together, says in Matthew 25, that Yahweh shall, when he comes, he shall gather, gather all nations, and he shall separate the, the goats from the sheep. As a shepherd separated the goats from the sheep, so shall he separate the people. That's what he's talking about. He's divided, he has divided the people. And much knowledge, how have to buy them and made their ways diverse. As in, as you can clearly see, that white people can't be black people, and black people can't be white people. So calm, so calm, right? Like race for all the other race. They gonna be them, and we gonna be we, right? Some of them have he blessed and exalted, some of them have he sanctified and set near himself. But some of them have been cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. Right? That's what he did. That's what he did to the heathens. And he will do so thoroughly when he returns to save his people. Right? Because, you know, he made a promise unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will want to see their children in, in chains and going through all this wickedness that these people are doing. So it says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as, in, as at his pleasure, so is man in the hand of him that maketh him to render to him as liketh him best. So the most I will give to man as liketh him best. And so that's what render means to give. <laughs> Alright? It says, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Right? It says, so look up all the works of the most side. They are two and two, one against another. All right? So, with that, I pray that this lesson was only fine. And I give all praise to the Holy Bahashem, the Amishai, the Holy Kapodash, the Bonds, the Bonds, salutations to the 144,000 men, one third men, women, and children. Double honors to them and um, double honors to the apostles and elders of great stone, you know. Uh, and the apostles and elders of great stone, all the other saints, the alchemists, pushing all these scriptures. Right? Shalom, Bakatama, Kenya, the water of a tree, man.